I took uh, uh, Liverpool to the final of the Champions League and uh, now with, uh, with my national team we are in the final and uh, I think people should recognise that I'm also one of the best defenders in the world. Oh no. Lovren, mate, what are you doing? When I was sending this on Twitter, I didn't believe it. I thought it was a prank. Did not think it was true. Then I saw the video and what have we just witnessed? To be fair to Lovren, it's right after beating England in the semi-final of the World Cup to reach the final. He's obviously feeling great about himself. I'm not sure if the first bit is broken English, like maybe he meant, you know, I was with Liverpool going to the final, but just the way it sounds, doesn't sound great. If you're someone like Ibra, maybe Conor McGregor, maybe Ronaldo, even Messi, like if you have the stats to back it up, then maybe you can get away with it. But yeah, you guys know my Liverpool season ticket order. I have thought, I've honestly thought Lovren played great for the second half of last season, most of the season actually. But you cannot come out and say you're one of the world's best defenders when you are so mistake prone for us as a club in the past. Even the game against Spurs at Wembley last season, Lovren made two mistakes to lead to two goals. Like, we don't forget that. He's done a lot in the past as well. He's a great defender in terms of clearing the ball, like heading it away. But he's, for me, like, I wouldn't put him in top 15 centre backs in the world. Van Dyke is better. I it doesn't make any sense. Oh God, Lovren. The worst thing is, if he loses the game against France, it'll make him look even worse. Lovren in the final, I thought was actually very good for us in Kiev. And um, it was just, obviously Karius made two big mistakes. I thought our defense was actually good against Madrid, but you just, it, he, yeah, I, can't, I can't speak. He, for me, is not one of the world's best defenders. And I'm a massive Liverpool fan, I don't believe He's one of the world's best defenders. I think you guys will probably agree. Yes, he's improved alongside Van Dijk especially, but the fact that his partner is a lot better for me than him just makes this comment slightly ridiculous. The reaction to it has been very hilarious to see too. By the way, if Lovren does become one of the world's best defenders, then absolutely awesome. But right now, for me, he has been in very good form this year, obviously reaching two, yeah, the two biggest finals pretty much in football. But... He, for me, is not even in the top 15. So, what has Twitter said? A man Andy, to be fair to Lovren, he is one of the best defenders in the world when you take the population as a whole. It just goes downhill when you start comparing him to other professional footballers. Oh, God. love you, Andy. Hats off to Dejan Lovren for having the confidence to declare himself one of the best defenders in the world. Four days before facing Kylian Mbappe. That is a fantastic tweet from Nick Miller right there. I did story this on my Instagram yesterday. I got a lot of responses to the story. Quadro said, I'm dying. He should keep dreaming. This guy just said, ha ha ha, Christ. And there are many more like this one. The main issue that myself and a lot of other people have with this statement is the fact that he did say I took Liverpool to the final of the Champions League. And I, you know, fair play, this may be a bit of broken English, but if it's not, then it doesn't really sound too great. Can't imagine Klopp would be too happy reading that. What the <laughs> fuck was that? The good thing though, is that I like that he's confident. That's something new from Lovren, I do like that. But when you say you're one of the world's best defenders, it doesn't really add up when you haven't got the facts to prove it. Yes, the finals, he's made two biggest finals but the whole team has. Like, it doesn't mean he's been the best player on the team. Obviously, we've had Salah, Mane, our midfield's been great, Milner's been great, defense has been overall very good to get to the final. There's been a lot more players. I really wish he just came out and said, I got to the final with Liverpool. That would sound a lot better than I took Liverpool to the final. It literally sounds like he's done everything himself. That's my biggest issue. It's a bit like in Game of Thrones when Joffrey says, I am the king. I am the king. And his granddad says, Any man who must say I am the king is no true king. Something about the Lannisters, they are just ruthless. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the Lovren comment? I think this is going to be very interesting leading up to the World Cup final. Is it maybe some mind games for the French strikers? Will Lovren be amazing against France? You just never know. I've always said it since Lovren's come to Liverpool, he has been mistake prone. He's given away quite a few goals in the past. A bit like Marino as well. You've always thought, yes, they can have a good run of form, but then they can make a mistake. And that's the thing with being a world-class centre-back. You've got to have years of consistency at the highest level. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Leave a like for more of these kind of videos. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.